Hi, I'm going to show you how to build a five gallon compost tea brewer for your backyard. Five gallons of compost tea or extract is about enough liquid or enough biology to, to apply to a 5,000 square foot property. So even though it seems like a small amount of liquid, it's actually an enormous amount of biology that can be spread quite wide. So in order to build a five gallon brewer, you need to have a five gallon bucket. We're lucky in Calgary because we pretty much have an unlimited supply of these sour cream buckets. So we try and make as much stuff out of them as possible. You're going to want to um, drill a couple of holes in this bucket, one on each side. And you're going to want to go to your local hydroponics store and pick up uh, one of these grommets. Uh, basically what they do is they stick nicely into the hole just like this. And so when we put a hose through there, which is going to supply the air to the extract or the tea, it seals it and stops the water from leaking out. So you just put it in like that. In addition, you're going to need to have an air pump. Now you don't want one of those wimpy aquarium pumps. You actually want something that's going to put out a substantial amount of volume and at a fairly decent pressure as far as air pumps go. So this little unit cost about $100. I got it in an aquarium supply store. It puts out about 65 liters per minute at about 3.9 PSI, which is perfect for your little five gallon brewer. On the blog, you'll notice that there's uh, links to other pumps that you can buy online. <clears throat> they typically run about 100 bucks, but sometimes you can get them as cheap as 50. So what happens here with this pump is the air gets pumped out of here, and we've got a T right here, which tees off into two hoses, and I got this hose for free as well. And so what we're going to do is set this hose up inside the bucket. So in order to get it through those grommets, I just put a little bit of water on them to, to give them a bit of lubrication. And we just kind of work it in there. It's quite tight, which is a good thing. It means it's not going to leak. And we just put it in like this. Now, the reason I like this system so much is that when I'm done, I can take it all apart in less than five minutes, get my handy hydrogen peroxide here, which I bought from my hydroponic store. It's 29%, um, really inexpensive at that concentration. But be careful, it's very, it can be very hard on the skin if you're, if you're not careful with how to use it. And I can sterilize the bucket so they don't get any nasty biofilm building up inside. It's really important. Cleanliness is very important in compost tea and extract brewing. So now I'm going to stick my hose in the other side. And I'm putting in quite a bit of hose, and I'll show you why. I want to try and create a little bit of a vortex. So as the air blows, it's going to create a little bit of action in the bottom so that I don't get any dead spots happening at the bottom of the bucket. Okay, so now my hoses are in. I want to place my pump higher than my bucket, or at least at the same height as the water level of the bucket. Okay, so I'm just going to untangle this here. And, oh. So we'll just throw it up there. And now I'm going to fill the bucket with water. A little bit less than five gallons so it doesn't bubble over. And preferably, you're going to be using chlorine-free water. So rainwater harvesting systems are great for supplying the water for the compost extract or compost tea. Obviously, chlorine or chloramine, which is some now, sometimes put into water systems now, um, is going to kill the microbiology that you're trying to, uh, to grow. So here, um, we're going to plug this pump in now. So it's going to make a little bit of noise. It's not too bad. And we're going to oxygenate the water. Now typically what I'll do is I will oxygenate it for about five minutes before I put in the, the castings. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to uh, just put the castings in right away. So we're going to put 250 grams uh, of worm castings into the extract, just straight in like this. And what the bubbles are going to do is essentially blow the microbes off the castings. And we're going to let this go for two hours and you can let it go for about as long as four. And this extract will actually have a shelf life of about a week, um, sometimes as much as two weeks. 
So once this is done now, I'll get my handy watering, or once this is done, I'll get my watering can and we'll grab a small nylon and we'll just pour the extract through the nylon into the watering can and then we'll dilute probably four to one, two to one to four to one, it really depends on what you're trying to do. Um, and then that will go straight out on the garden. And we try and do this on a weekly basis for different parts of our garden. Thanks so much.